Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a fan replacement on two of my Zotec 3070 white editions. Um, the bigger fan on both of my cards went out recently. And so what I did was take out the that fan and just had it running for a while just with the one fan. But I finally got the fans in that I ordered. So we're going to do the replacement today. And just so you can see, when you have them in Hive OS, this is what they look like. So I have two of these Zotec 3070s. The fan speed shows up zero because they're both not plugged in. But the uh, small fan is still running. So let's get into it. All right. So here you can see both of my two 3070s. And like I said, I already took off the fan on both of them and I had them running for a while so uh, there's one bigger one and one smaller one I think it's one of them is 100 millimeters and that's this fan and the model number on it is GAA8S2U All right, so here we have one of the cards. I'm just gonna show the one card, not two. They're both the same way though, but uh, basically I ordered the fans. They come like this. Uh, couldn't find the white ones, of course, so I had to get the black ones. But now we just got to disassemble the card and there's four screws on the back for the retention bracket. And then there is three screws on the IO shield. And those are all Phillips Zero. So I'm just gonna speed through the process and we'll pick it back up when we get down to the fan connectors. Okay, so once you have the PCB separated from the heatsink, all you have to do is disconnect the fan connectors, and you should have two of them. Since uh, I only have one fan, I only have one, but just wiggle them free. They don't have a clip or anything. And you can set the PCB aside. And so the next thing to do after that is to remove this little uh, LED bar and it's held in by three screws. Um, so one of your fan, or both of your fan um, cables will be underneath it, but since I already took mine apart, they're not. But basically you just unscrew these three screws and then the LED bar is held on by sticky tape. need to disconnect the LED connector from the fan connector. And each fan has five screws, two on the shroud and three on the fan. So they use the same Phillips Zero bit. So I'll just take off all, what is it, 10? And um, to get when the fans are on, you pretty much just have to go in between the fan blades. Model number for the small fan is GA92S2U.
Now at this point, all you have to do is put the fans back onto the heatsink. After that, you just have to put the fan shroud back on and just put the little hole where the LED cable goes towards the connector side. Um, and you basically just gotta finagle it underneath the fans going in between the fan blades. And then once you have it onto the heat sink, you basically just line up the screw holes as best you can and then uh, screw them down. Uh, try not to over tighten them because it's uh, you're screwing into the aluminum heat sink but just make sure they're tight enough where they're not gonna rattle off Once you have the fans and the fan shroud connected again, the next thing you want to do is reinstall the LED bar. Um, just before you screw in the screws, there's one more step and uh, I'll show you what you have to do here in a second. So basically what you have to do is put each wire underneath the LED bar and you can either do it like this, loop them around the, the two screw holders or you can crisscross them. Now on the first card I did, I crisscrossed them. On this one, I looped them and the problem that I ran into uh, when looping them is that the cable was a little bit longer and harder to tuck in when trying to connect the PCB back to the heat sink. So I would uh, just yeah, crisscross them, but in this case I looped them. Alright, so the last thing to do is just insert the screws for the LED bar, and then you want to reassemble the card. Of course, you have to connect the fan connections back to the connectors on the PCB. Now, the main thing you have to worry about is the fan cables because they're so long. So. If you look on the bottom right of the card where my hand is, you'll see a little tiny gap. Now your fan cables need to go in that gap. So when you re reassemble the card after you connect them, basically you just gotta try to get the fan cables into that slot. Now when you uh, watch what I do, I basically got frustrated and I pulled the fan cables out from in between the back plate and the fan shroud. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing this because when you screw together the card with the screws that would go where the retention bracket is, which there isn't one on this card, but um, anyway, 
the back plate and the fan shroud squeeze together so you can cut the cables so basically what you want to do is just try your best to get those uh, fan cables in that little slot that's open in between the heat sink and the fan shroud or what is that the back no yeah that's the fan shroud uh, that little gap that's where you want them so just do whatever you can to try to get them in there and try not to get them pinched but other than that that's basically it you just got to reassemble the car I went ahead and added the cards back to my rig after doing the fan replacement just so you guys can see what it looks like and as you can see I have the two Zotec 3070s towards the bottom of the list and now they show up with 85% instead of 0% like they were before um, and that's basically it so thank you for watching my video hopefully it helped you out feel free to like and subscribe and leave any comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next one